So I'd really like to share what the power of a band means in our farming operation at 360 Yield Center and what it can mean for you. And I think it started years ago when I started to use the planter as an applicator on nitrogen, I saw some tremendous benefits. And so I'd like to just take a little bit of time and talk about when we say the power of a band, what do we mean exactly? I think it comes down to the fact that we want to manage inputs, lower inputs, and raise yields. Yes, 18 and 19 falls are going to be hard to match here in 2020. I think we're getting really close and you see that the USDA says that we're going to raise an all-time corn crop across the United States this year. So let's break it down though for you at your farm. When we talk about the planter being the ideal applicator, besides just positioning seed, and for 30 years, we worked on planters and we talked about all the sweet spots of seed placement and spacing and depth, and I get that. But let's jump into where I think there's some really great savings and yield increase potential. Understanding what a plant sees. And so when we talk about nutrients, let's just draw our field here, and we can look at this field here, and this happens to be a soybean field the previous year. But whether it's soybean residue or corn on corn residue from the previous fall, when we come into the planting season, there's a cost to that residue. I'm excited about residue. I realize that a corn on corn residue has $100 an acre value. But there's also a cost when it comes to positioning a seed here and what it sees and how nature is designed because there's a lot of microbials and these are the good guys and there's what we call mineralization that happens throughout the growing season and it's not something to panic if it bites you it's painful but if you work with it it gets really exciting so what the band does for us on our farm is 2x over where you come in and you just broadcast nitrogen across the field before planting. Let's just say that the Ag Chem store came in and with a floater right in front of that planter put on 120 units of nitrogen across here. Maybe even put some chemical in with it, a weed and feed, but he put on 120 pounds of in ahead of the planter and now we have all this residue here. When it starts to warm up, these guys, and they're the good guys, but it's understanding how they work and how mineralization can help or hurt us. Because if we just ban nitrogen here and the microbials come up and they feed on this residue, what they use for jet fuel is N. The minute we would come in and around this seed, we would put a band of nitrogen and we talk about 2X. If we put 60 pounds of N in this band, it's just as powerful as 120. Well, I just gave you $30 an acre in savings, and we haven't hurt the yield at all. In fact, we might have actually increased yields. So let's take a look at how that would be. And so if we draw the seed trench here, and we position our seed here, let's just say an inch and three quarters. It's actually up here to my knuckle, so I know about where that should be. And as this plant starts to grow, and we talk about banding, for 360 with the 360 bandit, we're going to put two bands of nitrogen down on each side of the row. That's why I get so excited about this planter. It's a free pass. And not only does it not cost me anything, I know exactly where each row is versus, you know, a broadcast over the top. We know that nitrogen moves in the soil. So the minute it starts to rain here, we get these raindrops coming down, that nitrogen starts to migrate down through the soil profile, which is why we start at three quarters of an inch deep versus a two by two by two inch, where their nitrogen will be down here and it's starting to go down because on this young corn plant, when we get a corn plant that's eight inches tall, V5, it starts to put out its first crown roots. 
This little seedling root is all about starter. And yes, at 360, we believe in the power of manning enough that we're talking about taking a 360 dash system and we're now going to start to ban starter and we're going to ban it in a way where we're going to be putting out dash as a product only where the seed is so when this little radical root grows out and so we're starting to talk about dollar savings here 50 60 percent savings per acre but it's in a band where you get a maximum efficiency so no longer are the microbials going to be able to eat it all and as your crown roots come out they start to feed in this nitrogen and all of a sudden we have an extremely happy young corn plant that's off to the races. So for our family, we're going to put on 80 pounds of nitrogen with the planter. And over the years, it's gone up. Ten years ago, I was putting on 50 units with the planter. And I was only doing it on one side. As we started into 360, we started to design technology that works. That's simple to use. That's effective. That creates all this perfect seed environment yet but simplicity so it's a system and when we talk about putting on 80 pounds of nitrogen i'm really talking about 30 gallon to the acre that'll make you gulp this is a high speed planter that i'm running here so i spent a lot of money per row to get a lot done on the right day what's the right day well, it's all about understanding what your soil temperatures are, what your air temperature are. What seed are you planting? Do you understand the saturated cold germ capability of it? This spring in 20, we had extremely wet cold conditions. If you didn't have a great seed to position on that day, you had poor stands. And a lot of us will raise our hands and say, we got caught in that May 11th, 12th, and 13th time window. Remember? Thursday, Friday's forecast at the end of the week was supposed to be dramatically higher. And what did it do? It caught us all by surprise and it went lower. Thursday's low that morning was 31 at my farm. Friday's low was 30 degrees. Ah! And so it's about understanding the right day. So efficiency is what we're talking about here. A system that's carrying the right tanks, those 360 tanks or 700 gallon tanks, extremely narrow so going down the road your heart doesn't skip a beat in heavy traffic and it's all about positioning up over the tractor to get maximum efficiency on our tire axles no longer is we overloading the front of the tractor and then you come here see what's trailing this planter so we're asking it to put on 30 gallon to the acre and i realize what kind of yields we've been able to generate with this early part of nitrogen so we designed a 360 sprint, 300 gallons at a time, going through the field at high speed, catching up that planter at eight mile an hour, injecting that nitrogen to the front of that tank within three or minutes or less, back out to the road to grab the next set. And all day long that's happening and we gained what? 30% more planter power per day or for us 100 acres a day more on the right day when temperatures are right and the right seeds going in and all of a sudden we've matched what I call his ultimate system and so the power of the band is we start with that so we understand what mineralization is so we now have a young seed growing here it's taken off and we have our seed here and we got our crown root and all these roots coming down we got really happy roots because they're right here in the band of nitrogen versus where a lot of those in the competitive market are struggling to get this kind of performance. And so then we have 80 units on. What's going to happen after that? Well, I'm going to wait. Really what we're talking about is 360 base plus. What's base plus? We're waiting for what? The season to go on. How far will this 80 pounds of end take Greg? Shoulder high corn to head high corn. Head high corn only used 25% of its total needs up to that point. And then things start to get interesting. After V10, when you start to put out silks and tassels and pollination, and then into German, you know, we're putting a seed on, then we need the other 75%.
So at 360, guess what? We're going to have the 360 Y drop come in, and now we're going to position next to this stalk that's here on the ground, right beside the stalk on both sides with the 360 Y drop. We're going to put another 100 pounds of in, but it's coming down in a band at the right time, at the right place with knowledge as what taken place from July 1st backwards, where we extremely wet. Did we have drainage problems in some areas of the field? Did we flat run out? Do we need more? And this is why I've struggled for so long. In the fall, so many guys in this area will put on anhydrous ammonia. And there's a huge question mark in Greg's mind. From November 1st to September 15th, let's just pick imaginary date for harvest, how do you know how much nitrogen you need? You need 225 pounds, 240, 200. You tell me. You have to be a prophet because you have all this time here. Time goes by with many question marks. How did the growing season go? What kind of stands did you have? What kind of ear count are you looking at? So when we say the power of the band is not only about putting the nutrient on, that power comes out of knowledge of what's taking place. So when we come in, and we come in on July, and we're going to put down a Y-drop pass, I already told you, in our family farm, we got 80 pounds down the planter. We put on another 100 with Y-drop for 180 total. What's Greg want? 250 bushel yield goal. And you start to run that numbers, and that's a 0.7 pounds of nitrogen per bushel. I'm just going to share with you Greg's thoughts. Doesn't mean I'm right. If you're going to play in the environment we live in today, in 2021, you're going to need to be in the 0.7 pounds of N per bushel club. We've got fields this year will be at 0.65. And that's where the dollar's saving. So when I tell you for our family, and Tim and I talk about it all the time, my son Tim and I, as we talk about how are we going to lower inputs and increase yields, I don't know how many times we've had this discussion. And it comes down to empowering yourself to feed that crop, to maximize what Mother Nature gave us this year. Get the right stands, the right ear count, never run that crap out. At 360 Yield Center, we design technology on the power of the band. No matter what we're looking at, early in, starter fertilizer, late season in, to finish the race strong, we have come in and designed technology that's simple to use, that's easy to mount, and with the knowledge that we have of the growing season, we are no longer going to be guessing are we right or are we wrong?